what we're trying to achieve here is that if we render, we are trying to get this absolute white background with the shadows being cut on the floor. And so it's the same way where even if we zoom out, for example, and we try to render, it's also the same thing where we have that infinite white background and our shadows underneath. So to get started, I'm going to go to my setup file. I've already set up my objects and I've got my two lights and a camera, of course. So we'll start with setting a sky. Now for the sky to become our white infinite background, uh, we're going to go into making a new material, double clicking that and in the diffuse section, we're going to turn it into the color that we want as the infinite solid background. And in this case, I want it as a pure white. Once we're done with that, we take the material and we place it right onto the sky. Now if we render at this point, we're just going to get the solid background without any shadows. Um, if that's what you want, then that's great. If not, then we can continue to add the shadows, of course. Now to add the shadows, we're going to go into making a plane. I'm just going to get out of the camera for a second. And usually what I like to do with the plane is I just like to make it as large as possible, just to make sure that I catch all the shadows that I need underneath my objects. And with practice, obviously, you'll, you'll understand how the shadows are being caught, um, as however you place the plane. So now we're going to go to the shadow catcher material. Once we make that, we open it, and in the mode, we need to change the backplane into the environment. Now, so we can set what environment it's actually catching, we're going to take our sky, and we're going to drag it and put it into that environment. And now you can see that it's already starting to catch the shadows underneath over here. But what I like to do is I like to absolutely bump it up to the max, so I always put it as a 10, and you can see that the shadows increase over here. Now we take the shadow catcher material and we place it onto our plane. If you don't want to see the plane, you can always turn it off and it will still be rendered. Um, but I just like to keep it on as well. So now if we go to our camera and we render at this point, we can see that the shadows are being cut. And this is exactly what we want. And it's the same way where even if we get out of the camera, we zoom out completely, for example, um, and we render you still get that infinite white background and you get your shadows. Now, I don't know if you can see this uh, little line over here where the shadows are being cut off. Now, this is the limit of the plane. So this is why I said that I like to make the plane as large as possible. So wherever the plane is, is where the shadows are being cut. So, you know, obviously just to be safe, you can always just maximize it completely. And once you render again, you can see that all the shadows over here are being cut and nothing is interrupted. 